Hi, it's Gail the Planning Girl. Welcome back to my channel. This is my 2021 planner lineup. You see before you six planners and you might be thinking, really six? Well, not really. So let me explain how I plan to use these planners. First up is my catch-all planner. I fell in love with this big planner when I saw it. I think it's beautiful. I was thinking that I would move into a big planner in 2021 because I like to use the monthly view, of course, but my thought was that I would use the first row. This is not your classic vertical. Um, the first two rows for all of my chores and appointments and checklists and things happening, and then the bottom for my fitness. And I've actually been doing that with this squad goals planner that I purchased in July. And I've been doing just that where I have whatever's happening during the day and then my fitness at the bottom. Here actually I was still uh, marking dinners and things. Um, so, and, and I, this was a practice, so I wasn't necessarily using it every single week. Um, and you can add things to your planner, of course. So I really liked how this was working out for me. I have plenty of space. So I intend to frank and plan these pages with these pages, but this is the planner that I think is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I think the discs are perfect. I'm not switching them out for metal. I'm going to leave it just like this on my kitchen table. And then every day I'll just flip open using my tab to that page, see what's going on, write in what we have to do, and then keep it closed because I just want to look at this every single day. So with that said, let's talk about this planner. This is empty actually. This is my new Print Pressions A6 rings and I have ordered refills or inserts I should say um, from Lights Planner Action. They haven't arrived yet. I don't expect them until the tail end of December. It's getting close so I'm getting excited. And um, after I made those purchases for the big planner, I've been doing some different types of planning and different planning styles and thought I might want to try a smaller planner, believe it or not, and use, be more quality and more particular about what stickers I'm laying down, how many of them am I using, you know, I have a huge Happy Planner sticker collection that I definitely want to use up. But as I purchase kits from smaller shops, I feel like I want to be really picky about what kit I'm using, what sticker I'm laying down, that it's mindful and purposeful and not just, I have 9,000 stickers, let's slap them all down. So that's what this planner is going to be. I think maybe, possibly. So I'm going to this will be my extra planner and this is going to be my play around with a planner and see what I want to do if I want to change my planning style. So that's print pression. Next is this Simply Gilded TN. It's also, I'm pretty sure, about the same size, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's, it's a hair bigger. As you can see, maybe a half inch, taller, and actually, I don't know if it's the same width. It looks like it's not as wide. Isn't that interesting? But I think this is called a B6. And I set this up, and you'll see that on my channel, to be my social media planner. So I like a monthly view, and then I like a place for lists. And as you can see, I've already started my video ideas. So I'll be using this TN for my social media. So this isn't something I necessarily decorate or necessarily share on my channel. It's more for me to hastily scribble down my thoughts and ideas. So as I move around and go from place to place, I need another planner. And this is one, this is my skinny mini happy planner. I chuck it in my book bag. And that way, if I'm at school and I need to remember something like that I don't have more snacks in my drawer, and I write myself a note. Or um, I was helping wrap gifts at school, 
So I needed to bring wrapping paper and then um, I needed more boxes and more gift wrap bows and things. So, and then I needed to go to the store and pick up diapers. And actually I've done all this stuff and check this off. That actually got canceled because of the snow. But anyway, so some weeks are a little heavier and other weeks are, you know, a little bit lighter. Just, you know, run to the post office, for example. So I will be using this and continuing to use this in 2021. Um, and as I said, it's not a heavily decorated something something, but it does give me a chance to play around and use up some of my stickers and definitely a place so that I'm not writing notes to myself all over sticky notes or scrap paper and stuffing them in my book bag. The final planner that I've been using for a few years and will continue to use in 2021 is a gratitude journal. This is a mini horizontal happy planner. It is an 18 month planner. I started using it in July of 2020 and it goes through June of 2021. At that time, I'll decide if I need a new planner or if I'm going to go a different direction. I will still use a gratitude journal, I'm, I'm thinking, because I enjoy using it. I do enjoy decorating this one as well, and I have many um, videos of this one on my channel. So although the stack looked pretty big and still will, Frank and planning my catch-all, experimenting with a different style catch-all, social media to keep track of all of my YouTube videos and Instagram posts, something to take with me on the go to prevent 9,000 scrap paper stuffing in my book bag, and a little bit of gratitude at the end of my day. And those are my 2021 planners. What are you using in 2021? Leave a comment below and let me know. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.